Hey, what's good? This is Black Authentic Truth. And what I wanted to point out is that there's a bigger issue here with this situation with Will Smith and Chris Rock and the fact that black people struggle with morality. It also shows us that we're okay with a black man resorting to violence over words and jokes. It's something that's very familiar in the black community. Now, I'm not saying the violence was over a joke, but what I am saying is that we're okay with us assaulting and hurting and killing one another over mere words. Now, a lot of y'all just say, it's deeper than the joke, it's deeper than that. You know, uh, Demi Moore that played G.I. Jane, you know, she had an older man and then she left him to get with a younger man. It's deeper than that, she has alopecia. You know, he, he shouldn't have made that joke, it's a very sensitive joke. We act like nobody remembers that big old entanglement where everybody was joking about Jada Pinkett Smith, making fun of the entanglement. Now, all of a sudden, we act like we don't even have that in our memory banks anymore. Because if Will Smith blew up over that joke, then why did he turn around and cry later? And when he talked about it, he talked about the pressure from acting like you don't hear all the things people are saying to you and how you got to act regular and act like it doesn't bother you. That wasn't about one night in a joke. It wasn't about that embarrassment that he suffered from that entanglement that he had to hold on to and act like it wasn't bothering him for so long. When in reality, Jada Pickett broke that man. He lost his logic and lost his wits. He had an emotional outburst on national television. He lost all decency, all integrity, all dignity. It all fell down on that night. And black people were shocked. Of course, black people were embarrassed because black people look at celebrities as idols and superstars and gods. So many black women and black men applauded the slap and said he protected a black woman. He protected his wife's honor. But what about Will Smith? Did his wife protect his honor? Even after that, she has spoken publicly about their sex life and talked bad about that brother. So with that big fallout, Will Smith was left to look like a sucker to the whole world. He was down bad. I personally feel that all the brothers and sisters that agree with this situation, either as a man, you are an emotional man, effeminate man like Will Smith, or like Jada, you are a shameless and moral woman. And I have a real question. In what scenario would you protect your wife from a joke in front of people that you know and are acquainted with? Unless it's a situation where your girl or your wife is the woman that got around with everybody and is, is the neighborhood I don't see how that could actually offend you in a real life setting. We're talking about movie stars, celebrities, people with thick skin, people that already know what is going to happen at these shows. Like you already know, those people know that the comedians are gonna come out and talk about everybody in the front row. Like I said earlier on my live, they're gonna talk about whoever's in the front row and if you can't take a joke, your ass shouldn't be in the front row. But the problem is everybody trying to compare this to a real life situation like you're a celebrity, like you are a person that's used to being in the spotlights, like you would be in, in the front row seat at the Oscars. And it just doesn't compare it in my eyes. So yes, a man is supposed to protect his family. I believe uh, no man would not protect his family, his kids, his wife, his children, his wives or whatever if a threat presented itself, if somebody was trying to break in the house, if somebody was trying to do something, it's not like uh, a situation where Will Smith was walking down the street, Hollywood Boulevard or somewhere on vacation and somebody came up and started talking about Jada Pickett's bald head out of the blue, uh, like it's a real life situation. We're talking about entertainment. So the fact that everyone is applauding this, and not for, this is for all those people that are agreeing with what happened, and they saying, uh, you know, Chris Rock should have known it was a sensitive topic or whatever. What is really exposing to me is uh, the moralist behavior that we have in the black community. You know, we would rather see a man die over a woman that is immoral or have set him up for failure and have destroyed him. Nobody is talking about how she destroyed that brother. You get what I'm saying? Like everybody's talking about with what he did, how he was supposed to do that and it was honorable and all of that. But nobody is talking about why he did it and that the fact that that was an emotional outburst, that he lost his noodles, that was some that was kind of goofy for somebody that you would look up to with so much dignity and uh, integrity. It's almost like almost like 
if you can imagine, you can't even imagine it, but what if it was like a Denzel Washington do, doing something like that? So what I see is that we okay with a black man turning to violence over words, right? And we're okay with a black woman sleeping around, uh, being a pedophile and destroying two men. And we're, we're good with that. It, you know, and that's why I say the issue that I see here is the fact that we don't have no morals and we don't give a damn. Now it's a well-known fact that black men are overly emotional and act in their emotions and do violence to one another and to other people that like black men struggle with emotional maturity, which is nothing wrong with that, but it is a known fact. You can just look at the gun violence that we commit against one another. That's emotional to, to hurt someone or kill someone over words, over mere words is it's, it's the lack of any masculinity at all. Do I want to do this? Do I want to lose my life or go to jail forever for doing this over mere words, over jokes? Do I want to really throw away everything over jokes, right? And black men on a daily basis commit violence over words, over what somebody said, right? And we're okay with that. That's a fact that that happens in the black community. And it's also a fact that black men are in the grave and in jail over an immoral woman going to defend her honor, going to go check somebody, going to go do something over mere words. So in closing, our issue is morality in the black community. That situation showed something about black people. It should illustrate something to black people, to the thinking man, to the thinking woman. It should illustrate something to you. You should see like, damn, we really will apply this. This man is broken. He's emotional. It's an outburst. Like it shouldn't have happened there. Many people will say, oh, that, that slap wasn't for him. It was for the other guy. Or he should have saved that when he was at the round table and his wife was shaming him and showed no remorse. So we have to actually look at that and analyze that and be like, damn, that, that is something that is lacking in the black community. We have no more morals in our community. We, we don't have any standards, no rules, no laws, right? A lot of times we talk about this ain't the old days. We, we need to go back to the old days. We need to go back to trad traditional ways. We need to go back to the ways where people had respect and they had dignity and they had honor about themselves and how they carried themselves in the decisions that they made in the heat of the moment. With that, this is Black Authentic Truth.